Hi there, and welcome to Banana World. Have you gotten the thoughts of others on Tyler Perry and what Perry needs to say about Eddie Murphy, the parody legend? Okay, so there is. Everything has a reason, and we have everything arranged out. Eddie Murphy is a comic god, he got more cash flow doing stand-up satire in films than Richard did previously, and he achieved all of that as well as delivering, composing, projecting, and collecting others. Consequently, in his view, the entertainer has been vocal as of late and addressed the questionable course entertainer and filmmaker Tyler Perry took while heading to the top, this minister repeats that feeling by inspiring us to do what RuPaul couldn't inspire us to do. On Hollywood Matters is all around taken with the weight it merits. In spite of hoarding a sizable fortune and a notable standing, he thought of a splendid way to deal with permit us to do what no other person could. There have been many different kinds of feedback encompassing Perry's rising to the top, with a few of his previous close partners claiming he utilized sketchy techniques to arrive. Tycoon Tyler Perry is the encapsulation of the pursuit of happiness, toward the start of his vocation, the six-foot-six man was basically destitute and lived out of his vehicle while he composed ethical quality stage plays featuring his adjust inner self, media. Since that unassuming start, Perry has acquired his reputation. Alone persuaded individuals of color to acknowledge delay the surface. Regardless of having in excess of 20 movies amazingly, a noteworthy resume of acting jobs, different television programs that have broadcasted on different organizations, and the biggest studio of its sort in America, these achievements ought to be sufficient to acquire this independent star the regard and reverence of the two companions and fans, however that is not really the situation. There are basically two essential camps with regards to Perry, from one viewpoint, he invests the vast majority of his energy recounting to dark stories that his fans love, and then again, it is clear why he is perhaps of the most troublesome figure in Hollywood while perusing remarks on any of his media inclusion or following quite a few hashtags zeroing in on Perry or his many ventures. Be that as it may, his network programs and motion pictures tend to play on instilled generalizations and low creation characteristics, which disturbs the two pundits and doubters. Perry has gotten equivalent applause and analysis, and apparently the hold between these two gatherings is broadening as his impact in the media develops since his presentation. Acts in an article for the New York Times, Perry makes sense of how his mom's Friday night card parties in New Orleans turned into the expert class for his works. This was a condo loaded with sharp-witted, drink-reviling, areas of strength for smoking, yet caring ladies I can connect with. Perry likewise took advantage of something uniquely great for his crowd with his kidding authority media. I can in any case plainly review standing by listening to these ladies discuss the issues in their connections and lives while sitting on the substantial floor, stifling from the smoke, covering my ears from the uproarious giggling, and paying attention to impacting blues music he composed. Be that as it may, when pity went into the room, one of them would tell a wisecrack. Also, the laughing would start again. In those cases, I found that giggling might remain closely connected with utilizing those standards learned in satire and misfortune. Misery Perry composed 23 performance center plays that laid out the media's great morning and hell as a standard hello in the African-American population even today. 22 full-length motion pictures that gathered a with $1.2 billion in worldwide film industry income, 10 TV programs, incorporating associations with TBS and Nickelodeon, albeit not every person partakes in Perry's specialty, there are other people who value his commitment to depicting ethnic minorities in the entirety of their variety. He makes stories that rise above friendly class and feature all-inclusive subjects. Whether it's a maturing cousin, a pal caught in an oppressive relationship, or somebody expecting to escape jail and begin once again, ethnic minorities share. Perry sends out a vibe that interfaces with his audience members and has acquired some reverence. Albeit some find his creative thoughts hostile, he every now and again focused on the subject of renewed opportunities. Through his various ventures, he puts the people who are either detained or as of late delivered at the core of his work. Before Tessa Thompson becoming famous on shows like Dear White Individuals, Westworld, and Thor Ragnarok, Perry had begun and supported various dark ability projects. 
Tessa Thompson was given a role as Purple in For Shaded Young Ladies. Idris Elba, who turned out to be notable for his work on the HBO series The Wire, handled his most memorable enormous job in Perry's Dad's Daughters. A few VIPs that worked together with Perry were Gabriel Association. Craig Robinson Jackson, Janet Taraji P. Henson Whoopi Goldberg and Angela Bassett, and perhaps of his latest undertaking, Tyler Perry Studios, which appeared in the Harvest Time of 2019 This broad 300 section of land complex, which was once post-McPherson, a neglected armed force base in Atlanta, is presently home to 12 sound stages, studio rentals, lodging for VIPs and group, and, surprisingly, a day-to-day existence-size copy of the White House. Perry generally had this vision since he accepted that his work and presence were undesirable. In Hollywood, a renowned filmmaker said, while others are attempting to get a seat at the table gathering Hollywood studio leaders, he states I'll be in Atlanta constructing my own. He offered this expression during an acknowledgement discourse at the BET grants. I fabricated my studio in a local that is perhaps of the most unfortunate dark area in Atlanta. In a past meeting on CBS, so the youthful dark youngsters might see that a person of color followed through with something, and they can do it as well. Earlier today Perry's longing for facilitating Gail Lord was additionally upheld by this opinion. I solidly feel that I am inconspicuous in Hollywood, and that is fine. He referenced that my crowd and the stories that I tell are African-American stories custom-made to a specific crowd that I realize I grew up with and that communicate in a language that Hollywood doesn't necessarily talk. He additionally said that he knows the significance of what he does and that it influences a huge number of individuals around the world. Told Ruler, I understand how that helps individuals that I'm composing for and individuals that I come from. Assuming that they get it, fantastic. In the event that they don't, amazing. On the off chance that they don't then, at that point, that is fine as well. Yet despite the fact that I'm addressing it as a boon, Hero, various others, including Eddie Murphy, think the multi-billionaire Phil Head Honcho is disguising a lot of rowdiness from his huge achievement. Nonetheless, notwithstanding having written and delivered his own past to outcome in the media, Perry has confronted analysis and social reaction all through his profession. Ethnic minorities have ridiculed and mocked his specialty, from the projecting of Meda to the imprudent strategies utilized in his creations right off the bat in his vocation, Perry pulled in a great many pundits and doubters from varying backgrounds. He was scrutinized for how he depicted people of color in his works, attempting to convey their strength and durability. The producer reliably makes stories that emphasize on the experiencing that burden. As opposed to respecting the one thing he eventually communicates in one of his initial film industry victories, Ladies as an ethical illustration in view of his well-known stage play, Perry's Journal of a Distraught Person of Color, acquaints the crowd with Helen, played by Kimberly Elise, a homemaker who is madly gripping to her faltering marriage with her truly harmful accomplice. Fierce, faithless spouse as she attempts to adapt to her conditions, Helen goes to her grandma's media, played by Steve Harris, an effective lawyer who one day gets together every last bit of her possessions and sends her away to live with his courtesan and their two children without let Helen know what she's doing. In spite of the way that this is sufficient to blow anybody's mind, Perry is condemned most for the conspicuous absence of character and spine these women he makes have. For example, Helen gets back to her savage spouse in one of his films just to later perceive the blunder of her methodologies. Nobody's fool. A person named Dana cuts off her conditional friendship with Straight to the Point, an Exxon turned calf proprietor played by Omari Hardwick, to take a risk on Charlie, Mead Creek's personality, her online perfect partner who is never met, however, who meets every last bit of her cravings. Nonetheless, she before long finds that her living in fantasy land comes for an extreme price. Thought of blemished, unreasonable ladies, Perry's specialty is effective dark male rescuers, and loathsome men, 
he has been ceaselessly censured for this one layered point of view. As such, he involves the battles of individuals of color for, of understanding and self-improvement, yet his naysayers view his methodologies as debilitating. In a meeting with Dark Undertakings, Lee deceived his dissatisfaction with regards to Perry, referring to his work as CUNY horseplay, and saying, we can improve, yet I actually believe there's a ton of stuff that is on today is coonery nonsense. Tyler is extremely keen, and the man has an enormous following. Also, swarm church transports would show up in the meeting, Lee expresses that there could be no different journalists in his universe, Pearson is famous for having composed his books as a whole, however as far as I might be concerned, the thought alone is disrupting since it contributes fundamentally to his continuous nearsightedness. His plays, films and television programme episodes he recently shared a picture of a work area brimming with screenplays for series that he was creating or had in progress, alongside the subtitle, Hard Working Attitude Come On, We Should Get 2020. Simultaneously, he got brutal analysis via virtual entertainment for not recruiting chiefs and essayists for his tasks. Perry, 